Well, good evening, everyone. I am back. This is, uh, oh, let me get that up and running. This is video blog number 26 for July 20th, 2018. Today's Friday night. Uh, and I, uh, like you saw in the previous graphic, I call that the slate. Yeah, I'm going to be adding that from now on. I might add some music to that. So, I don't know. Um, so, let's bring you up to speed about the, uh, about the Stylo 4 here. Still a good phone. I love it. It's been great. I don't have anything bad to say about it. <laughs> I actually have been running this for quite some time that I checked the settings. You can do that on pretty much any phone. Go into settings, scroll down to about phone. It might be in a subcategory. And click on status or hardware info. It just depends on what version of Android you're using. And uh, scroll, uh, probably scroll down near the bottom of the current page. And it'll say uptime. Well, I found that this phone was running for about oh, 326 hours. And I was like, <gasps> <laughs> so I was like, I, I shut down a couple programs on it and then I rebooted it and I, I didn't really need to I usually like to reboot my phone every 72 hours and I'm happy with that uh, the NFC has been great it's been a, a godsend some of the time I love it um, so that's pretty much about yeah about that uh, nothing really much to say about it except for it's a great phone on Metro PCS and uh, I actually love it. Okay, so moving on. Hold on, let me do something to my screen here. I have notes on my other screen here. So <laughs> actually, it's the same screen that the camera's on. So uh, I, I, I like almost like a teleprompter that the news agencies like to use, and other other companies too, um, other TV shows uh, like. Uh, today or something like that whatever anyway so um up deck oh yes holy cow i love this thing it's been great um here let me i'm actually going to use one of the buttons on this thing ah okay so up deck is a wonderful program uh, it's available on 8up.uk that's the website I found it through the, um, come on, ah, sometimes it lights the leg. <laughs> okay, so I found it through the OBS project website where OBS is. It links up to OBS. You need another program on your computer to be able to interact with it uh, because up connects to its Windows program and then connects to OBS. Wonderful program. Um, it's worth it's worth it to have it. There's five pages on this program and each page has 20 buttons. You get to have fun reading through the documents on how to program each of these buttons. I've been programming for about over an hour, uh, the extra buttons that I have on this thing. Holy Hannah, I tell you. I can mute the microphone from here because I program it that way, or the desktop audio. I can switch between camera one and camera two very easily, like this. <laughs> I can also say, you know what, please stand by. I can even switch colors on that, but it takes a couple of buttons to do the switching of the colors. Um, or coming up later on KGGIQ, so you know it's actually uh, it's actually pretty nice. It's it, it legs a little bit. I actually already found out that while I was trying to do some switching, it disconnected by accident off the uh, the Windows program, uh, the Up Deck uh, Windows program, and all I had to do to the Windows program is just hit reset, connect up. It was back. So, yeah. 
which is not too bad. Okay, moving on. A TCS monitor. I'm a train person, been learning a lot more. What are Z trains, what are S trains, and all that type of stuff, and I've been learning a lot more. I also found out some interesting keys in the dispatch display. There's actually four keys that I know of. If there's more, leave a comment, please. Okay, so there's four keys in the displa dispatch display. They're yeah, yeah, very interesting. Okay, so if you hit, if you hold down the shift button, it'll tell you, it'll tell you uh, how long it, uh, it's been. Hold on, you know what? I'm just gonna bring up. Hold on for a sec. Let's make sure we get this correct because I don't want to end up having you guys throw out some bad comments, you know, and all that type of stuff. Okay. Now yeah, let's up the size here. Okay. So wait for it to sp come on, load up. Okay. So if you hit the shift button. It'll tell you how long it's been since the last time all of these stations or cities or whatever you want to call them got a update on the data. Or if there's been no data to that particular place. Okay. Hold down the control key and it will just show you when was the last time it got its data instead of just a time lapse. It'll just show you when it got its data last time, or if there is been no data received. Okay, that's cool. Two new buttons I found out within the last oh, week. If you hit page up, it actually ups its size of the screen. There's like three or four. Okay, one, two, three, and then the fourth one goes back to the first. So there's only three sizes. Uh, page up goes up a notch. Page down goes back down. So in other words, I can have it on notch number two, but hit page down, and it goes back to notch number one. We'll just call it screen one, notch one, whatever the case may be. So, you know, that's actually pretty nice. I like that. I am planning on making a updated video on how to set up ATCS monitor on a brand new computer. I'm sorry, but we're going to end up having to use Windows 7 because that's a, that's what I went run. Windows 7 is the only thing I have right now. Windows 10 is over there at my uh, wonderful fiance's desk. I don't know if well, I would have to hook her computer up and all that. I'm not in the mood. I will find out how to hook. Uh, well, I could install ATCS monitor on her computer if I ask her very nicely, but I will tell her I will delete it after I'm done. We will see. We Oh, uh oh, I already got uh, turned down on this. Never mind. Forget Windows 10. <laughs> Windows 7 it is. That's it. I might upgrade to Windows 10 in the future, but until they, uh, uh, they Microsoft is still um supporting Windows 7 with updates and also until they stop doing that I'm sticking with Windows 7. Okay, so yeah, I'll be making a I'll be making a program on an updated way of running ATCS monitor, how to install it, how to do some tweaks to it, how to install a subdivision when it's not in a zip file could happen. And then how to make an INI file. I figured this all out, and holy crud, it's actually, it's actually pretty easy once you get to know it. And also how to switch it from one server to another. So say that a new server gets put into the same place, like BNS, BNSF Scenic Sub, which I run pretty much all the time. I actually have it up on the top screen over here. Oh, hold on. Yeah, see, I have ATCS monitor right here, and if I hit the page up, see, it goes one one size more, or it goes even higher, but I'm going to hit page down to go to this screen. It 
it's easier to read and all that. So I'm going to show you, because I've done some trial and error and I figured this dang thing out, how to install a sub with the NCP file, the layout file, and if you don't have an INI file, how to make that. It's actually pretty easy. And then how to uh, assign s the, the, the right servers to this type of thing. Say that this the scenic sub, which I have here, let's just say they moved servers or just changed the web address or even the port. I know how to do the, all that, which is actually pretty easy. Um, and the cat's going nuts right now. <laughs> this time of night. So I'm yeah I'm gonna make a new ATCS monitor video on how to go f start from scratch installing the program, even installing the fonts, and how to um. I love this program. Up is very nice. <laughs> So installing the program, installing the fonts, installing the, the subs and and stuff like that, and then how to do it manually without the zip file. How to install it that way. And my recommended settings when installing a kit. Because in the default settings, it tells the, the, the check mark to delete the kit after installing. I uncheck that because I keep my, all my subs in case I have a tragic error and I need to reinstall that sub. So I'm going to yeah, I'm going to make a new video that just going to show you how to do everything. And uh you I'm hoping that you will come away from that video saying thank you Damien. Thank you, Mr. Geek, that's me, <laughs> for making that wonderful video that shows how to install ATCS on Windows 7 and how to install it fresh. So that's about it. Now, I'm thinking of doing a backup. What I am actually thinking with ATCS Monitor is I'm not going to include the program itself on my web server, which is actually just over there, I'm going to actually just go ahead and put not all the subs, but at least the popular ones and at least the ones for my state, Oregon and Idaho and maybe Montana. I, I'm going to do that and I'm also well put like a directory tree to do that because I don't see any reason why I can't put the uh, subs onto the website. I just don't want to put ATCS monitor 410 and 426 on the server. If you want those programs, you will have to go through the Yahoo groups. I'm going to keep it that way. But I figure the subs for at least my state and my neighboring states are going to be on the website. Address to come later. I am not buying any more domain names at this time because ugh, I already got enough. Holy mother. So that's pretty much uh, will be coming up in the future, an ATCS monitor video on how to set it all up soon on Windows 7. When I upgrade to Windows 10, maybe I'll make a new one. And I'll even say on Windows 10. Um, that's pretty much about it. Okay, so last but not least, and it was on the slate. Here, i even show you. I'll show you the slate again. Look at what it says. Some of the reasons I hate President Trump. Okay. One of my friends thinks I hate Trump because he's rich. No, if that was the problem, I'd be hating everybody that's rich. No. Trump has done stuff that has pissed me off. One, he's the president. I hate him. I hated him before he was the president. Because he's a stupid idiot. And then recently he went to go visit uh, Putin. President Putin over in uh, oh, wherever that is. In Russia. 
Yeah, uh, thank you, honey. <laughs> she helps once in a while. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and while he was talking, he accidentally said would when he said wouldn't. Read the frickin' script, you idiot. I guarantee there was some paper down there of what he was supposed to say, and he didn't follow it. I wish we had Obama back, at least. I liked Obama. He was good. I actually voted for Obama, but I didn't vote for Trump. Because I don't like the freaking bastard because he doesn't know how to speak some of the time. And he has made some mistakes that are like, oh, no. <sighs> Trump, just impeach yourself, please. It just, it will save me some time here. I might make videos of how much I hate you. That would be a long video. <laughs> okay, so, and then, <sighs> I voted for Bernie Sanders, okay? Come on, I even wrote his name in because it wasn't on the ballot. I didn't like Hillary. I don't like Donald. I only liked Bernie. Say what you want about me. I don't care. Leave your love, love comments or hate comments down below. I'll just read them. I might reply. I don't care. Like Carlos Mencia has said, start writing your hate mail. I don't care. Okay? Sheesh. <sighs> so anyways, yeah, I don't like the president, but I have my own God-given right to hate who I want, dislike who I want, or what the heck ever. Okay, and I don't really actually have to give you any reasons, but I decided I wanted to clear things up a little bit. If I hated people f because they're rich, I already got a couple friends and family that I would have to basically shrink their head or something. I do something bad. <laughs> Not kill them. I never believe in killing people. Even my worst enemy, I don't believe in killing them. I only believe in just wanting to knock that head in a little couple of times to see if I can't jog what are screws that are loose and put them back in order. But, well, I don't care. Uh, so, all in all, I hate Trump because he's just done stupid things even before he was president and before he even ran. I didn't really like Apprentice or Celebrity Apprentice. I didn't really like the show that much, so I actually liked it when Arnold Schwarzenegger was uh, did The Apprentice that one season. Not bad. Come on, do it again. I like it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's okay. Let's just wrap that up. I hate Trump for different reasons, and none of none of the reasons is because he's rich. He people can be rich all like uh, all they want, but. I don't hate the president because he's rich. I hate him because of other reasons. So there. All right. Done. Done. All right. It's done. All right. So my f my friend or friends that have said anything about Trump and rich and all that, leave it alone. All right. I'm done. So anyways, moving on. Uh, oh, back to up deck. That's what this is called. Up deck. Now, I do have up deck on both this tablet and on my phone, but I found out that it, the connection will only allow one of them at a time. That's it. And no, if you add, whatever you do to the buttons on one, don't populate to the net, the other one. So you can actually have, like, this one can be everything for your um, music video channel or whatever video, whatever, and then the other one can be for your vlog or just mobile you know, multi-purpose. So, you know, that's nice. Okay. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say about up. So, yeah, only one connection at a time. Sorry. <laughs> I talked to the programmer. And I, I, okay, well, I will agree. I wish, I wish I can take the buttons that I have on here and populate them to here or from here to there. That would be great, but We'll see. I'll leave them a comment or something. Okay, so that's about all there is. Oh, I got one more graphic. Um, ah. <laughs> okay. Oh, the graphics, by the way, 
one other thing extra here. These graphics that I have are from a website called pixelpro.io. I downloaded like 130 graphics all for free last night. I've already put some into play here, uh, like this one. <laughs> uh, that might be pointing in the wrong direction, but yeah. just please like the video. <laughs> please subscribe, too. I'm going to probably make my own graphics saying that. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you some of the graphics. Okay, so we got we got this one. I like the background on this. It's just that uh, that background reminds me of Leo Laporte's show, The New Screensavers, but his is green instead of yellow, red, kind of. Not bad. I like that one. Uh, well, you see, you already saw the slate. That's another one of those backgrounds, and I added the text, of course, on both of those things. Now, here's a nice one. You can actually put your camera... Not bad. Uh, the other box I have programmed at this time for MIRC chat, just the main channel, and whatever one I want, you know. So that's actually pretty nice. Um, well here's a nice picture in picture. I like this. This is this is pretty cool. I like it. And then one more here. This actually is showing my graphics that I made a program called Lower Third, and it lets me program my own Lower Thirds into the system to show, like TV stations do. So that's actually pretty nice. So I, I and then all these scenes I'm showing, I got other scenes in the system, but I just don't have them programmed in as the buttons here on the system on on Up Deck. But, you know, that that's okay. I, I'll get to it. And I got up to five pages of 20 buttons each, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> so, And I don't even have that many scenes in the system, so I have room for more. Um, oh, I wanted to show you something. Uh, page two. Please stand by. Okay, now, the please stand by actually comes in a different... Okay, so right now it's on color number two combination. See, there's another color combination. Oh, oops, hold on. There we go. All right, so that's number four. We're going to just go down. No, wait. Uh, let me put you up on one. Okay, so that's color combination number one. Here's number two. That's number... Come on. That's number three. And that's number four. So, yeah, not bad. I can actually change all those with uh, a couple presses of the button, uh, the, the screen buttons here. I can, I can do a simple switch between cameras or different scenes and all that in OBS, or I can tell it to turn on or off any sources that I want. But the thing is, I've been figuring out, and it says it in the documentation on, on online. You have to be case sensitive. So whatever the case sensitivity is in the sources area, you have to spell it exactly that way. So whenever you're doing a text GDI plus, you actually have to say text GDI plus space, you know, Damien or whatever the case may be, or please stand by, or please S by is actually what it actually says. So. <laughs> You got to, you got to, whatever it says on here, you got to match it word for word right after the lock uh, thing. So, yeah, and there's different ways of doing this thing. 
The one that switches between camera one and camera two is actually a multi-toggle type switch. It only has two states. Well, well, yeah. When I s when I hit this, now it's ready for me to switch back. There we go. Actually, that's pretty nice. I might do a separate video about up deck itself because there's some things that the guy does on the website. You know, he does show how to add them, but I'm going to kind of drum it down better. So, okay, well, I think that that's about it. That's all I wanted to say. I even had some extra stuff there. So, for the graphics, thank you, pixelpro.io, for the wonderful graphics. I got tons of them, and they are very beautiful, wonderful and they do make use of uh, where, like, the two, the picture in picture, like this one. Instead of the cameras being here, it's just black. So it will let you put the cameras into place. Actually, this, these two screens are actually just a little bit above and off to the side and below of the, the box itself. So, uh, you know, but it. If you do it just right, you can make it look like, like this, which is nice. So, so yeah, it's actually pretty nice. Uh, well, my phone's going off. There's a pulse point going off. Okay, well, um, that's about it. That's all I have to say about all these things. Everybody have a wonderful day. Uh, sorry this ran a little bit long, but not too bad. Oh, and by the way, I can start and stop the streaming and or recording from the deck, which is nice. I don't. I barely have to touch my mouse, which is nice also. <laughs> and since I know where the buttons are, it's kind of easy to hit them, you know, because I programmed them. <laughs> so, okay. Well, everybody have a wonderful day. Um, please like and subscribe to the video. That way you know when I do one of these videos. Um. If you have any comments, good or bad or ugly, whatever, please leave them down below, well, you know, and all that. And I'll, whatever ones I feel like I want to re uh, respond to, I will. All right. Everybody have a wonderful night. And I am out of here. And this is Mr. Geek DJI. Uh, hold on. Ah, this is Mr. Geek DJI 4 on the YouTube channel. And I will talk to you all later. My name's Damien, and I'm out of here. And we're going to fade to black and kill the mic. <laughs> all from here. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.